the portfolio performance metrics so popular ratios which we use to uh, measure a the manager performance or portfolio performance so first and foremost is the sharp ratio so a sharp ratio is given as the excess of the return on the portfolio over the risk free rate and which is scaled by the standard deviation of the returns on the portfolio so which is erp minus rf upon sigma rp which we have shown via a formula here so this is going to measure excess return against the total risk of the portfolio so the point to remember here this is the total risk of the position because we are taking a sigma which is both systematic plus unsystematic risk which is there in the portfolio now this is a popular metric whenever we have to analyze portfolios or compare portfolios which are not well diversified next is the trainers ratio so a trainers ratio looks very similar to the sharp ratio however the denominator is different because the numerator is same we are trying to measure the excess return but this is measured against systematic risk only so if you see we have used beta in the denominator so we are taking only systematic risk we are not taking unsystematic risk into the calculation so this is mathematically how a trainers ratio is calculated and this is a good metric for portfolio comparison or portfolio portfolio performance measurement whenever portfolios are well diversified because a well diversified portfolio we know that unsystematic risk has gone away so all that we have to focus on is the systematic risk so that's where trainers ratio can come handy next is a jensen's alpha so jensen's alpha is defined as an excess return that is not really explained by systematic risk so this is given by alpha so alpha is equal to ERP, which is the expected return on the portfolio minus. So if you see, this is just a equation similar to CAPM. And I'm just taking a subtraction. So I have ERP minus what I expect from the CAPM. So anything which is given by this excess return, if you see this, there's a, there's a subtraction sign here. So this is something which is not explained by systematic risk. So this is what we call as a Jensen's alpha. Uh, again, this is a popular metric where we have to do a comparison amongst peer firms or maybe uh, amongst peer portfolio managers. Next is the information ratio. So information ratio is defined as the excess of your portfolio return over a certain benchmark. So now we are not really talking of risk-free return as such. But now we have the liberty to choose a certain benchmark against which we are going to compare our portfolio returns. So ERP minus RB. And this, so by definition, this will measure the excess return of the portfolio over a certain specified index or into the portfolio deviation away from the benchmark. So why I say portfolio deviation away from the benchmark? So this section relates to the denominator of this above formula, where we have a sigma of RP minus RP, whereby we are taking the standard deviation of how far is the uh, difference of returns measured from a standard deviation perspective between our portfolio and a certain benchmark portfolio then comes a tracking error so tracking error is the standard deviation of the difference between our selected portfolio and the selected benchmark so this is essentially the denominator of the information ratio but when we measure uh, any kind of portfolio performance this becomes one of the useful metrics uh, which analysts can use whenever they have to compare portfolio performances across two portfolios Lastly, we have a sortie no ratio. So sortie no ratio is given by the above formula. And the formula, if we see, there is a there is a further difference which we do. So if you see the transition, we started with the benchmark as a risk-free rate, then we moved on to a certain custom benchmark. Now we have come to a concept called as minimum acceptable return. So it may so happen that the investor has a certain minimum acceptable return in mind. So they would want to use that to benchmark their portfolio manager performance. So in the numerator, we are replacing the risk-free rate by this particular minimum acceptable return. So in the numerator, we have the premium, which is the expected return on the portfolio minus the minimum expected return, which the investor demands. And in the denominator, again, we have to measure risk. So we are measuring this in terms of standard deviation of returns that are below the minimum acceptable return. That is also what we call as the downside risk or the downside deviation. So again, all of these are what you call as a risk adjusted return because we are trying to measure uh, 
what is our excess return on the portfolio or the returns which we are generating uh, because we are taking on a certain risk vis-a-vis -vis the overall risk which my portfolio is carrying. Now a quick summary table to relate uh, these ratios. For Sharp, now we'll study these from a return and risk perspective. That is, imagine that this is the numerator and this is the denominator of each of the above ratios explained. So Sharp ratio is nothing but the excess of my portfolio return over the risk-free rate. The risk for a Sharp ratio is the total risk, which is a sum of systematic plus unsystematic risk, something which we give by sigma. Next is Trenner's ratio, which is the excess of the portfolio return over RFR. However, we are measuring only the systematic risk, which we call as a beta in this case. Next comes the information ratio, which is the excess of return over, ex over a certain selected benchmark. And here we take the residual risk. So this is also what we call as the tracking error or TE, as we have shown in the earlier figure or earlier table. Next is the Sortino ratio, which is the excess return of the portfolio over a certain minimum acceptable return, which the investor might have defined. And as a risk metric, we take the downside deviation, which is nothing but the standard deviation of returns that are below my minimum acceptable return. This completes our review on modern portfolio theory and CAPM. Thank you.